What is happening, people? And welcome back to one like Moses one. Alright. Bet. Bet, bet, bet. Let's get it. We back. We back with yet another reaction. What are we reacting to to the Moses? Alright. Today we're gonna be reacting to Al Murray. Every parent must watch this. But as always, before we get into the video, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Ah, oh, sorry guys, I've got a bit of a cold. But let's get it. Al Murray. Right now, Great Britain's in trouble. And the main reason right now for that is that Great Britain is in trouble because the kids, the kids the are kids. out of control, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Totally agree, man. Um, <clears throat> kids these days, eh? <laughs> kids these days. Yeah. Kids these days out of control, oh, aren't they? Where are, I need to speak to the parents. Where are the parents? Hands up the parents. Yeah, I'll pamper your kids too. You're much, our front line. Round of applause for our front line, the parents. Yeah, I'll do a great job at the same time. They're on the front line. <laughs> Our parents on the front line, <laughs> and you're doing a shit fucking job. <laughs> I'm gonna give you. Did he just say you're doing a shit job? <laughs> I was about to say I'm gonna give you some fucking corona. <laughs> for God's sake, don't ask him what he wants for his tea. Tell him he's having chips. What's wrong with you people? Don't ask him. He's a kid, and don't listen to Jamie Oliver either. He's a twat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Oliver is a twat. That's hilarious. The point is, <laughs> He's called Jamie we have that. to take control because the kids have somehow ended up in charge. For and the reason man. for this is because all the Softness. adults now think they're kids, don't they? Act like kids, think they're kids. As a result, the kids they they think they're adults, them. don't they? They're swapped. Yeah? It's crazy. So we live in a world where the adults think they're kids and the kids think they're adults. And then the kids who think they're adults have more kids who think they're adults. And then they have more kids who think they're adults. As a result, you've got adults who think they're kids, whereas your kids think they're adults, whereas your kids think they're adults, whereas your kids think they're adults. Whereas kids think they're adults. Yeah? Some up. of these children are their own fucking grandparents. Nah. <laughs> You're quite right. It doesn't make any sense. But that's not Another the point. Bit. The point is we have to do something about it right now. Mm. Kids. This I mean, really. Kids these days, they don't have the meaning of hard work, do they? Yeah, you agree with that? Yep. They don't have any hard work. I mean, if they can't even pull their trousers up, how are they ever going <laughs> <laughs> to... How are they ever going to... Hey, yo, bro, son. They can't even pull their trousers up. That shit funny, bro. He's <laughs> like, Mom, Mom, can you pull me trousers up for me? Feet a day's work, for Christ's sake. They're called underpants because they go under, don't they? are not called small of the back to top of the arse crack pants, are they? <laughs> <laughs> the kids don't have any hard work. They don't have any graft. They don't know the meaning of getting stuck in. They don't know the meaning of the hard yards. They don't know the meaning of an honest day's toil. They don't know the meaning of sweat on their brow. They don't know that they've got to get stuck in. They don't know that life is about putting stuff in if you want to get stuff out. Now, I don't know why this is. I'd look into it, but it looks like a big fucking job. I can't be asked. The truth is... Kids. He doesn't want to have kids. The truth is this. We need to do something right now to teach kids the meaning of hard work. And my recommendation that I put to you tonight my recommendation. What we need to do is build some pyramids. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, like the Egyptians. We need, between Brighton and London, yeah, before next Christmas, 25 pyramids. What? Proper pyramids, 1.8 million 20 tonne bricks, like in Egypt. This thing is crazy. Yeah, yeah, and they've got to build them without a hard hat, without a high vis. They've got to drag <laughs> the pyramid on a log, on a string, with a bloke That's with a stick fucking hitting them. Season. And then what we do is we kill a celebrity, and the celebrity's put inside the pyramid, yeah, so they don't worship celebrities anymore, and that'll show uh, the Chinese okay. we're back in fucking business. <laughs> So yeah. bad. Hey, that's a weird way of trying to get kids not to be lazy, but that's a common sense Be solution. You can't argue with that, can you? <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, <laughs> we need to. Look at his fucking bite in his hand. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's so British, man. Like, what's the word? I think I'm correct on this. Quintessentially British. Do something. Isn't it? Do something. But being a parent's a difficult business, isn't it? And part difficult of the big problem. Business. Right now, yeah, well, it is I mean, hard one hard of the main problems with parenting, with having kids, of course, is anyone can have kids, can't they? There's no, there's no test, is there? There's no badge, there's no proficiency, there's no exam. Anyone can just have kids. I mean, you and me, Tash, we could make a baby, though. You and me, we could make a baby. You and me, we could make... Not to make a baby with her. Come on, do 
thing. Make a baby. You, I we could make a baby. I mean, not, not now. Not in front of all these people. That, that'd be weird. But we could, you know, maybe we could try. <laughs> maybe we could try. I think I'd go doggy. I said, don't you know what I want to We could make a baby. Uh... There's nothing to stop us making a baby, is there? Don't make a baby. Oh, want, we're yes, going to be six yes, two, yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Yes, that's the first yes I've ever had. Now, uh, <laughs> anyone can have a kid. Anyone can have kids. What, and it's he tough being a dad. Dave, you got kids? Dave. Tough, isn't it? Two kids, tough being a dad, isn't it? I mean, you're... He, he looks like a proper English geezer, bro. Like. You are a special plod, but being a dad's more difficult, isn't it? A lot harder. A lot harder. It's a tough business being a father. Mm. And we talk a lot about this, me and the other dads, in the group. <laughs> The other dads seeking legal redress, so to speak. <laughs> Justice, as it were. Justice. Yeah, they're a nice bunch of boys. I'll drive the van, but I'm not putting on a costume. Now, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> we talk about this in the group a lot. We talk about so it a lot in the group. We have a motto in the group. There's two Ds in dad. That's what we say. There's two Ds in dad and they stand for something very important now obviously there's two m's in mum don't know what they stand for i don't really give a shit to be honest nah. <laughs> more money probably <laughs> oh god damn he just threw some shade you got a fucking boyfriend he can pay for it now <laughs> there's two d's in dad and we talk about this a lot there's two d's in dad because being a father you have to set an example, and that's where these two Ds come from. Decisions and discipline. Those are yes, the two yeah. Ds in Dad. Decisions and discipline. Because as a father, Dave, you know this, you have to set an example. In modern yeah, Britain, they real. say you shouldn't drink in front of your children. That's all very well, but how are they ever going to learn what your main interest is? The truth <laughs> is... What, drinking? The two Ds in Dad, and what do they stand for? They stand for decisions and discipline. And the thing is, in modern Britain, discipline is a difficult business for the modern parent with kids the way they are. Huh. My friend, just come to Africa. <laughs> hey, what can I say? Thank you, Long. Thank you, Long. Just bring your child to Africa and see if it's difficult. Hi! We oh, all long. Hey! Hi! All long. Hmm. Trolling the way society views the whole thing. Yet you're worried about the consequences, aren't you, of discipline? You're worried about what might happen if you strike your children, aren't you? You're oh worried yeah, because the British government wasn't it under Tony Blair's reign. I, I talk reign like he was some dictator. <laughs> um, uh, under Tony Blair's um sort of was it was it party um um you know. Um, prime ministership let me just call it that i know it doesn't make sense but let me just call it that nigga um on the tony blair's you know prime ministership i think he decreed that you can't one can't hit on children otherwise they have the right to call child line and so that is why yeah man i you know bring your children to africa i have to i have told you people already bring your children to africa <laughs> I ain't gonna say further, bro. Because, yeah, you know, YouTube, Western. <clears throat> what might happen? You know, he might have a gun on him for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is this, America, bro? Boom, you're gone. Yeah, no, Prince, that's it. Lights out, Plod can't solve it. Now, the point is. And tough decisions as a father. Difficult decisions. Hard, real choices as a parent in modern Britain right now. I mean, modern do you turn Britain. him in or do you keep the flat screen? That's a difficult choice. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if it's HD. I mean, the quality on that. Once you've got HD, you can't go back, can you? <laughs> well, it's all about HD we back then. Like you and me, the parents need to take action. The parents, the grandparents, the uncles, the aunties, the cousins, the teachers. Do you think it's like grandparents that pamper um, ch uh, our children more? It totally is. Um, because they wouldn't pamper us in their day when they were parents. You know, like if I had grandkids, I'd have to whoop their ass, nigga. Everyone needs to take control. The big brothers, the big sisters. We need to take action. We need to take the country back, make the kids back into kids, and the adults need to return to being adults. It's up to us to do that. So, there's Agreed. something I want you to do. Something I want you to do for me. Shit. Tonight, when you get in, 
you get in tonight, I want you to wake the kids. <laughs> I want you to bring them down in the lounge, sit them on the couch in the lounge. Lounge. I want you to look them in the eye, and say to them firmly and sternly, but we love. <laughs> if you want, touch their elbow for emphasis, that's up to you. I'll leave that part to you. <laughs> look them in the eye and say, now listen, son, or treacle, or princess, obviously. <laughs> If it's a girl, don't call a boy trickle or princess. Don't open that can of worms. Oh, crust. No, and hey, next cancelled. Thing you know, 20 years down the line. Al fucking does def definitely reporting on the crowd. Um, sort of uh, liberal journalist. Al Murray um, uh, is against LGBT fucking... Oh, God, you know how they Give are. Give him a gay up. wedding. And I don't care what anyone says. That is no one's plan A. Let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> yo. Uh, careful, Al Murray. <laughs> Careful, bro. No, 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 I'll say straight up right now. I actually think gay people should ah, not get married is. without a shadow I'm of doubt. Gay marriage should go ahead right now, right? Without, I, I don't see the problem with it. Yeah, because then they. <laughs> he's just easy. trying to make up for what he just said. <laughs> oh, my God. He's fucking rest of us. <laughs> <sighs> If that doesn't rain on their parade, nothing will. The smiling, uh, laughing, happy bastards so with a sense of listen, identity, Trinkle, for fuck's sake. Listen, Trinkle, what else? Put that in your big gay pipe and smoke on. it. Divorce. <laughs> Try out for sign, you fucking jolly fuckers. Anyway. <laughs> now, some of you might be thinking, oh, no, oh, oh. Sounds like I'm a phobic, that. Hey, that's Sounds what I said at the beginning. Bit, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think that word's the right word. That doesn't describe my, condition, my situation here. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is. I'm not frightened of anyone. Phobia. I don't have a phobia of gay people. It's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous to be frightened of gay yeah. people. When you actually think about it, why homophobic? If you're phobic to something, you have a fear of it. I don't have a fear of gay people. Other, well, homophobic folks don't have a fear of gay people. Yeah. Because if they did, They'd be running away every time. Ah! Type shit. Stupid. You know? No, it's different. It's like a physical reaction, like dairy. You know, it's an intolerance. Yeah. It's like, I mean, you get fucking like, rashes and shit. Intolerant. I'm intolerant. <laughs> Type shit. Intolerant. Well, that's all it is. It's an intolerance. So, right, you look the kid in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> Say, mm -hmm. now listen, son, or treacle, or some. princess. There's something I need to tell you. There's something I need to tell you right now. That's why I woke you up. So I need to tell you before it's too late. There's something I need to <laughs> so tell you, because we need to nip this in the bud right now. There's something I need to tell you, and this is the most important thing you're ever going to hear. There's something I need to tell you right now, because I love you, because I care about you, Get your to family, the... your culture, your country, and Western civilization itself. <laughs> There's something I need to tell you, because if I don't tell you this, no one else will. <laughs> and if I don't tell you this, It'll be too late. There's something I need to tell you oh, right it's now. Like I'm telling you this because it's true, because I've been honest. And truth and honesty together are the purest expression of love one human being can make to another. And I love you. There's something I need to tell you right now. For fuck's sake. And you have to disregard what anyone else might tell you on this What subject. is it? Because this is the truth. It's the best piece of advice you'll ever be given. There's something I need to tell you right now. And it's what? this. <sighs> Listen. Oh, finally. You... Can't fucking sing. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I thought it. <laughs> Fuck off! Oh, wait. Why did he beat around the bush so much, man? F nigga, f oh, man, no, you can't sing. I thought he was gonna be like, "You need to get your ass a job, nigga." You know, um, otherwise you're not coming back under this roof. But he said, <laughs> "You can't sing." <laughs> Man, that shit funny, man. Uh, good old Al Murray. I love that. I loved it. Uh, what do y'all think? You know, did y'all like it? You know, did y'all dislike it? What are your thoughts, comment, concerns, opinions? Do you have children? Do you understand what he's, or sympathize with what he's talking about? You know, put it down in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you next time.